Welcome to Change It Up Radio with me, your host, Paula Shaw. Oh, I've got so many wonderful things I want to share with you today. I won't be interviewing a guest because I I have a lot of end of the year kinds of things we want to talk about because we are on the precipice of ending 2021 and beginning 2022. Wow, all those twos, that's got to be some kind of a good luck year. I'll have to talk to a numerologist and see what we're in for. Those of you who are new to the show, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Paula Shaw, your host. I am the author of Saying the Right Thing When You Don't Know What to Say, which is my latest book and one of my favorites. I'm also the author of Grief, When Will This Pain Ever End?, which is a kind of compendium of processes and tools and articles that help you move through your grief. And in addition to that, my third book is called Chakras, The Magnificent Seven, and it's really a great guide to working with and balancing the energy of your chakras, those whirling vortexes of energy within the body. So please look into those books. You can get them all on Amazon. And that would make me a very happy 2022 if you all started reading my books. I'm also a speaker and I'm a life transition coach. I work with people primarily who are dealing with change. And let's face it, today, who isn't dealing with change? It's either our health, our politics, our environment, Everything is changing. And of course, that's one of the givens of life. It's like I like to say, the only thing you can really count on in life is change. If you love the way things are, hold on, because change is going to come. And if you don't like the way things are, hold on, change is going to come. <laughs> so, The problem with us humans is we don't always deal well with change because we don't like the discomfort of the unfamiliar. And so my work is about helping people deal with the changes in their lives and make them smoother and more productive. So if you'd like to learn more about my work or perhaps sign up for a complimentary consultation with me, you can do that at paulashaw.com. That's paulashaw.com. And if you'd like to learn more about Change It Up Radio or hear some of the amazing shows we've done in the past, you can do that at changeitupradio.com. changeitupradio.com. That's also where you will find the show notes for this show. And I think you may find those really especially valuable because I'll be giving you a lot of information about some processes that can really help you to end this year in the most positive way possible and begin next year ready for possibilities, ready for whatever is going to show up. I am very, very happy to be here. Many of you know I recently had an emergency appendectomy, and uh, I have to say that's a pretty gripping experience when you walk into urgent care expecting to maybe get a prescription for this terrible indigestion and crampiness you seem to be dealing with. And instead, walk out with orders to get right to the ER that you're having surgery that day. And talk about change, right? And upheaval. I looked at my doctor when he told me, you're having surgery today. I said, but this isn't how I planned my day. And he just looked at me and said, it never is. And so the day went on and ended with me on a surgical table. And I have to say, there were some moments that were very difficult. 
Um, especially when you know you can't eat or drink. Once they know you're going to have surgery, they won't even give you a sip of water. And my surgery wasn't until 12 hours later. So it was a very long day. But when I woke up in the ER, I was so happy to be alive and to know I'd be recouped in time for Christmas. So it was a really very special holiday for me this year because there was a moment when I wasn't sure I'd get to spend my holiday with my family and loved ones, and I did. So now I think it's most important for me and for all of you as well, that we end this year in the best way we can. Because if we don't, we don't go into the new year with fresh energy. We don't go into the new year as open to possibilities as we can be if we complete the year that just ended. So I want to share with you today a process that I learned from Genevieve, we call her JJ, Joshua, and it's a process called conscious completion. Now, why is it important to consciously complete the year, or for that matter, an experience, a relationship, a day, any particular event or given bit of time that you feel you want to be complete with so that you will be fresh in the moment for the next thing that comes, you can do a conscious completion on. And I love conscious completions for the reason, the very reasons I'm speaking. They allow you to enter into the next moment of time clean and clear and ready for what that moment is going to bring you. They also keep your energy from getting stuck. They keep you able to receive what comes because you're not focusing on something from the past. So, there's so many great things about conscious completion. Um, so you're not missing moments. You're not dwelling on past hurts. You're, you're present. You're present with all of you, all that you have to give in those moments. So there are two basic principles on which conscious completion is based. So here's principle number one. Everything happened the only way it could. I know sometimes we're filled with regrets and remorse and woulda, shoulda, coulda, and wishing things were different, better, and more. But the truth is, everything happened the only way it could for who we were and what we knew, what we believed at the time. So don't be second guessing yourself. Know that in that moment, you and everybody else did the best they could with who they were and what they knew at the time. And the other principle that's so important is because everything happened the only way it could, and because everyone was doing the best they could, forgiveness is so open. Forgiveness is so easy to be able to move to because of, of the very things we just said. It happened the only way it could. So once you understand those two things, now you're ready to complete something. So I'm going to walk you through what you would do if you just wanted to complete this year. Okay? So first thing, we want to involve all the levels, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. So we stand up and we stand with our feet apart in a power stance 
So, you know, that's with your arms up in the air, feet apart, take a deep breath and feel powerful. Feel like you are in command of your universe. And now take a deep breath, a nice deep breath, and you're going to say something like this in your power stance. I'm holding a script in the other hand, so I can only do one arm here. (laughs) I'm choosing, I'm choosing to consciously complete this year and everything that happened in it. Okay, got that? I'm choosing to consciously complete this year and everything that happened in it. I stand in my own power And I now call this year complete and good enough. If you don't do that part, then you get stuck in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? Wishing it had been different, better, more. I call it complete and good enough. I call back my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual energies from this year. I call this complete and good enough. And then you clap three times. Again, that brings in the physical, it brings in the auditory, and it just kind of snaps your head right into the whole process. So that is conscious completion. And and just know that you were doing the best you could. And so you can complete it. You don't have to live in regrets. You don't have to keep flashing back on that moment that you wish had never happened. It's over. It's done. Let it go. Now you can do this same process even on a daily basis. So it doesn't have to be a whole year that you're completing. In fact, I like to do this at the end of each day so that I can walk into the next day fresh. And that would just simply look something like, again, assuming your power stance and just saying, I did everything I could today to the best of my ability and everything happened in the only way it could. And I now choose to forgive it all I call it complete and good enough. And there it is. So you don't have to use these exact words. If you're driving as you're listening to me right now, you don't need this exact script, but it's the concept, right? Remember, everything happened the only way it could, and everyone was doing their best for who they were and what they knew at the time. So everything can be forgiven. And what do we know about forgiveness? It's the way we let ourselves out of the prison of regret or anger or bitterness or remorse. Forgiving everything is the best way to be clean of it. So that's the process of conscious completion. And I I do love it so. There's also another process that I use every year for many years now, and I'm going to share that process with you as soon as we come back from this quick break. So don't go away. You're going to love this one. It's really great as well. All right, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio with Paula Shaw. We are talking about how to end the year productively, with grace and with style, and in a way that's really meaningful for you. Creating this openness so that you can walk into the next year absolutely open and clean and ready. So the next process I want to share with you, and if you're just joining us, don't forget to go back and listen to the whole show because the first process we did is one of my favorites. It's called Conscious Completion and it is a spectacular process to incorporate into your life on a daily basis. This 
next process comes from a book called The Joyous Freedom Journal that was written by Reverend Christian Sorensen of the Seaside Center for Spiritual Living. And since the first year I've done it, it's just meant so much to me that now I do it every year. And I, this, those of you who've known me for a while may recognize these statements because I try to share them every year. All right, you're going to get out pen and paper. And don't go, uh, because everything we write down is so much more powerful than what we just speak. So you're going to write these things down. So the first one is, three triumphs you had last year. Three triumphs. Things you really feel wonderful about. Peak experiences. The next one, write down three things for which you are grateful. And we've talked about gratitude before. It's the highest vibration right up there with love. So it's always good to spend time thinking about what you're grateful for. Next, three things you are ready to leave behind. Three things you don't want to drag around anymore. That's important. Three things you would like to forget and be forgiven for. And Three things you will forgive and not carry into the next year. Also so important. Then three things you're planning to do, like big things, you know, not go shopping, run to the grocery store. <laughs> three things you're planning to do that you're looking forward to. And then th Three things. Oh, I'm sorry. I gave away the next one. So it's three things you're planning to do. Then three things you're really looking forward to. And I'm adding to Dr. Christian's list three big goals. Three goals that you're really, really wanting to shoot for this year. That you're going to go the extra mile for. And make them good ones, big ones. You know, the thing that's great about goals is if we make them big and then we achieve them, oh my gosh, what a fabulous feeling, right? So three big goals. So my advice to you is do this today. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Because you know what that happens to the things we're going to do tomorrow. There's no end to tomorrows. And before you know it, you'll be halfway through 2022 and you'll go, ah, I never did that stuff. So do it today. I think it will make you really happy to have gotten this done. And I'd like to close with not only wishing you the most beautiful year of your life, but hoping that you'll stay with us here on Change It Up Radio, that you'll subscribe, that you'll like us, and most importantly, that you'll share us with friends and people you care about. And so I want to end with this beautiful poem that I found, I'm not even sure exactly where, but I love it so much. And so I want to share it with you in closing today. It's entitled, Imagine a World. Imagine a world where governments respect the human rights of all their citizens and settle disputes by the rule of law for the common good. Imagine a world where all people have food shelter and access to medical care, and children are born into and raised by healthy families and communities. Imagine a world where literacy and education for all are accomplished facts. 
Imagine a world where economic practices create well-being for all stakeholders. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me try that one again. Imagine a world where economic practices create well-being for all stakeholders, including communities and the environment. Imagine a world where beauty, the arts, and media inspire the best in people. Imagine a world where the benefits of science and technology enhance all circles of life. Imagine a world where tolerance and appreciation of diverse religious beliefs is the rule. Spiritual practice is encouraged and reverence for life fostered. Imagine a world where the earth in all her unnatural beauty is treasured and its resources utilized sustainably for this and future generations. This is a world at peace. May peace prevail on earth and remember that you are the pathway to peace. Everything we do, everything we think impacts the energy of peace. So let's all commit to this year, 2022, making this a year of peace. Peace within, peace with your life and your relationships, and peace on our planet. Peace for this beautiful environment and all its inhabitants. I'm so happy that I was able to spend this time with you before we begin this year of 2022. <laughs> so I wish you all the happiest and most prosperous and healthiest of New Year's to be enjoyed and cherished with people you love and animals you love. All right. Thank you for joining me. Remember, you can hear our show on every major podcast platform, including iHeartRadio and Podopolo. And you can find out more about the show. You can get these processes I've shared with you today on changeitupradio.com. I look forward to seeing you for more wonderful podcasts of Change It Up Radio in the coming year. So blessings to all of you and happiness and joy. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.